Hi friends, we will learn about tick enter buttons. In this button, we will learn how to style it, how to add colors and various other uh, features uh, to change the look and feel of it by using the options available. And then we will learn about the various events handling using a button. This is our basic window. On this, we will add the, our button now. B1, it is our uh, button object. Now let's use tk dot button. Now my underscore w is our parent window. Now in this, we'll add a text. Let's say hi button. Fine. Now I'll we'll add the grid. Now we'll place it on a grid. So row is equal to one, column equal to one. So let's just see how it looks. Okay, the button is displayed now. We are not added much. Now we'll first concentrate on its look and feel. Let's add a width to this. Width, let's say 15. Now we'll say BG. Is the background color on the button? So by this will give it. A, let's say it's red, and uh, FG or the foreground is equal to say yellow. Now these two we have given. Now we can give the font also. Font is let's say we'll declare a tuple. Let's say times. Now in that uh, let's say size is slightly more 14 and it is bold. We can run this and see how it looks. You can see it's high button. The button is available. Now we'll add more features to this more options to change the style a bit. We'll add border width to this. We can call it uh, border width or in short we'll call it BD BD equal to let's say three. Then design of the border is uh, we can add another option that is relief. Relief will say let's say it can take for uh, six op values raised, sunken, flat, raised, solid, groove. So let's say raised. There is one more option we say over relief. Over relief means what should be the border when mouse is over the button so that will say let's say sunken so this combination let's see how it looks you can see the border is raised now once i pressing the bringing the mouse over it the border was the border how it changes so that is what will be sunken we can change it to let's say groove Let's run this again. Now, what's the border? It has it is changed. So you can experiment with this uh, six different values of the border, and you can set the value for over relief and relief. Now, next we'll move to the cursor. Cursor is what should be the cursor shape once the mouse is over the button. So let's say it is cross. How it looks? Sorry, I just pressed it again it is minimized yeah it is moment i am bringing it over it you can see the my cursor shape there are around 50 to 60 different shapes you can use the list is already available in the link at the description you can visit and check this up one more we'll try now is active background active background this is the color when i am press the button what color it should take let's say it should let it be green and at the same time we can also specify what should be the font color or active foreground active foreground let's say we'll make it uh, it is green by default it is black so let's say it's red I have to put it under quotes okay let's uh, run this and see you have the cursor we kept it same now what happens when i press it you can see it became green and the font became red these are some of the important options which will add look and feel to the button now next uh, we'll i will learn two important options for us one is act a state we can say uh, disabled disabled so th this once I give this value, what will happen to the button? The button is disabled now. I the, it, it functionality is gone, so we can't do anything on this. 
now i can remove it or set it the value to normal we'll learn how through program or uh, we'll change or by configuration we'll change this now another one is command now what happens when the button is clicked it may be most of the cases it runs a function there we will execute different different uh, codes to work on our window we'll see that next